Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Faris Osayed. I'm a third year dental student at King's College London. And today I'm gonna to be going over my top five tips to help ACL UCAP. Just before I get into the rest of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it makes me know that you're interested in the content I make. So thank you. So my number one tip for the UCAT is to make sure that you practice, practice, practice. I'm 100% sure that you've heard this tip a million times and you think it's kind of obvious. But trust me, a lot of people underplay the importance of it. It's important to note that the UCAT is not a knowledge-based exam. And because of this, you can't write specific content for it. You have to actually just practice a lot of questions to make sure that you understand the key skills associated with the different sections. So as I said, my number one tip to improve your score is to practice a lot. This means doing a lot of the different questions that you can find online and in books. It also means doing past papers that are readily available everywhere. And I'll give you guys a few links down in the description for you to be able to find some useful resources. Tip number two is to make sure you find your strengths and weaknesses very early on. Your UCAT score is averaged across four topics. These are abstract reasoning, verbal reasoning, decision making, and quantitative reasoning. These are graded from scores 300 to 900, with 300 being the lowest score you can get and 900 being the highest. There's also a fifth section called situational judgment. However, this is graded separately and it is banded from band one to four, one being the highest and four being the lowest. So why is it important to work out your strengths and weaknesses early? You need to be able to identify early on what subjects you need to put more time and effort into because different people have different natural ability. Some people are great at quantitative reasoning and horrible at verbal reasoning. Other people are great at abstract reasoning and horrible at quantitative reasoning. Actually, everyone's kind of horrible at verbal reasoning, but the general gist is if you don't find a subject easy within the UCAP or you find it particularly hard, you need to practice that more. Because as I mentioned before, your score is averaged across these four topics. So there's no point in you improving your strongest topic and leaving the other ones to fall down because your overall score will drop. My third top tip for the UCAT is to make sure that you time manage in the exam. This is so essential for the UCAT. Many people neglect how important time is in the UCAT and try and answer the exam questions in the same way they'd answer a normal exam. This will definitely cause you to get a very low result in your UCAT. This is because three out of the four sections in the UCAT actually give you less than a minute to answer each question. This means that if you're not careful with your time, you will very quickly fail because you will not be able to answer every question accurately. So personally, I recommend that if you find a question that you're struggling on, you should flag guess and get back to the question later. You have to think that those precious seconds that you're wasting on one question could be useful for a question that you find easy later on in that section. A way to optimize your timing is to learn all the keyboard shortcuts for the UCAT exam. I have all the shortcuts in the description box down below so make sure you check it out. My fourth top tip is to make sure that you book your UCAT early. Now I know this isn't the most traditional top tip but for me I think the earlier you book your UCAT the better your result will be. Of course it's dependent on how hard you work. Most of the time people think that if you book your exam later you'll have more time to revise and thus will get a better result. But in most cases people just procrastinate and never actually do any work until a week before the exam and they start cramming. If you book your UK early, you'll have your end goal in sight and you'll be able to make a timetable that is accurate and suits your needs. If you're confused and not sure how you should structure your time, I've made a sample timetable down below that you can use. Use this just as a guide and make your own timetables to suit your needs. As I said before, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, so you might want to focus more on a certain section over another. My fifth and final tip is to not use the UCAT book. I'm sure you've seen this UCAT book everywhere, and trust me, it is absolutely useless. Most of the questions are way too difficult and they really dishearten you before you get into the exam. In my opinion, the questions are just inaccurate and they're not very useful. I'd recommend that you should use some online resources. In the description box down below, I'm gonna put some paid and free resources that you can use. And if you want my personal recommendation, I think the best online resource you can use is Medify. Yes, you have to pay for it, but the question bank is amazing and it has thousands of questions and practice exams. It hits the nail on the head for all the skills that I've mentioned. It allows you to practice a lot with the thousands of questions that it has. It times you to make sure that you're not overrunning. And it also makes sure that you can use all the keyboard shortcuts that you find in the real UCAT. This is not sponsored, my channel is way too small for that, but I just personally recommend that you use Medify and a lot of my friends that do dentistry have also used it and said it's absolutely amazing when they did their UCAT. So that was my video, I really hope you enjoyed. I tried to keep it as short as possible to make sure you get all the key facts quickly. This is just the first video of a whole UCAT series. I'm going to be making specific videos for each section and making resources to help you along the way. If you want some more information on the UCAT and how to improve your score, make sure that you follow my Instagram and my TikTok. I have them both linked down below, but if you can't bother to go down to the description box it's just Faris Den, same as my channel. If you enjoyed this video please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you keep up to date with all the videos I'm going to be making. I really hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching.